bring corn to the ethanol plant. It's been raining here, so we've got an inch and a half of rain. So things are still pretty wet. So we are going to haul two loads of corn to Addis Ethanol Facility. Dusty. Been a while. Yeah, we'll get her loaded. Get it up to the mill. Dusty. Thought maybe we were down to the sweep already. But knocked on the door. Must have been a big old, sometimes when you get the fines in there, it's the sound changes coming down the pipe, it gets quiet. I thought it looked like it was actually flowing less, but it looks like we're going again now, so I guess we'll keep going until it doesn't come out. And then we got to open the door and put the sweep auger in. We don't have a power sweep, so when that happens, it turns into a two-man job, and I'll have to give Rick a call. And... All right, I opened the little door. I thought it was open, but it wasn't. So I slid. There's two doors in the bottom of the bin. One right in front of the man door that you open last, because if you take the grain out of the bin from out of the middle of the bin, there's even fresher distributed throughout the entire bin and if you take it too soon from where the door is on the side well then you won't have any pressure on this side so the bin could actually walk off the concrete pad so anyway now there's so little corn in there that won't happen we'll draw that down pop the doors open muscle the sweep auger in and then he'll have to babysit it and make sure that it goes. So I was hoping to get one load out before we had to do all that but it's not raining, it's a nice day and things are drying down so it'd be one thing if we should be planting but I think things are still too wet to be trying to mud it in out there. So I should be standing like this. Get the sun. Of course I got my hat on anyway. So. All right, keep moving. We're getting down to the sweep. This is the beauty of Facebook. I can tell you the truck is full and we're all set. We're gonna get going. And what you miss is the pile of corn on the ground. Because I was too busy watching the auger over there and not watching the truck. So, I could have left it like this, we're all honky-dory. Like this, I'm a bonehead. Big mess. Anyway, look at the guy that was here, pick up the beans. <laughs> I told Rick I wish that was the size of my mess. He wanted to know if he could empty the rice out. He brought rice over to Budweiser. A handful of rice. 
you could have left that in and it would have disappeared with those soybeans I'm sure but he did the right thing and he cleaned his trailer out so we got I don't know six cups of rice feed the wild animals I guess anyway the mess on this side isn't as bad I'm out of here we got a motor that went bad trucks full enough we'll get it dumped off up to Addis and just like that we are here COVID protocol is one person in the scale house at a time. gave it something to do. I wonder if they shut this pit off after I leave. That thing just sits there squawking along. This will go get an empty weight. Go back and see what we're doing the rest of the day because I'm pretty sure we're not doing that second load today. Cleaned up my mess. Right there was the mess. Thought I'd swing by with a shovel and a five gallon pail. It was more there than I thought, about six five gallon buckets. So I brought them back over to the pit. And when we go to load the next load out, it'll go up. You can't, oh, you can't get it right down as clean as you'd like because that's just dirt there, not concrete, but it's still better than leaving six buckets set there to rot or for the animals to eat. So, plus, we got a soybean truck coming in an hour, so he won't be driving through it. So, that's good. Get another soybean truck loaded out. These trucks are a fair bit fancier than our old farm truck. 
Loaded and gone. Well, what we're doing here is getting these things silicone down. And this is part of the tower. And if it starts to come up, then air gets underneath it and they blow up and then seed gets underneath it and then the, the seed will stop flowing through the hoses. And the hoses are what feed the row units. So now that we've got the corn hauled, the beans loaded, that one we did last year because we had issues these we're doing now before we have issues so I was working on that when Rick called to tell me the soybean guy was there so finished getting this cleaned up get the silicone on there and throw a weight on it to squish it down while the silicone dries and move on right there it's setting on one now the old barbell and get it back together because I think tomorrow it's go time. We have some stuff down on the river that in earlier videos I was chisel plowing. It was going to be corn and it is no longer corn so it is now going to be soybeans. So I do believe it'll be go time tomorrow. Just got the call. It's dinner time. 